he had been acquitted. Two days later, they bring another charge against him. So we have people who, then there's another one who spent his first conviction was 15 years, two days before the 15 years were up, he was held in court for another series of charges, 25 years in jail. So that's the game. Um, in the case of Marafa specifically, the moment he got into prison, he did what the others had not done. He started revealing things. You know, he, he sent out letters to the Cameroonian people and said, well, this is what happened. The president was going to, I, I call, you know, I go visit the president as I always do. I, I advise him, Mr. President, don't stand for another seven years. This is 2004. Enjoy this as your last term. Consolidate your achievements so that you can retire peacefully in your own country as opposed to dying outside your country. The president takes offense. Then the president says, I hear you are interested in running against me. Say, oh, okay. uh, you know, I'm considering uh, creating the post of vice president. Would you be interested? No. So Marafa did what others have not done. He exposed the underbelly of the system in a series of letters. And, you know, in effect, that the, the letters were intended as his own protection. Because, as he said in his first letter, he had no wish to die. So if Cameroonians heard that he was dead, a better look elsewhere for the cause. So yes, I, I think uh, those who are viewed as threats to the regime are the ones who are. But they are mixed with others who actually stole one. But it's difficult. Rafa Hamidou Yahya was one of the most powerful government officials for the Republic of Cameroon when, in 2012, political rivals had him arrested, tried, and convicted for misappropriation of public funds, charges so unsubstantiated that each year since 2012, the United States has deemed Marafa a political prisoner in its prestigious State Department reports on human rights in Cameroon. In what was supposed to be a confidential cable assessing the political landscape in Cameroon, U.S. officials described Marafa as an astute, progressive leader who aligns with America's interest in curbing Cameroon's rampant corruption and strengthening its commitment to democracy. Within months of WikiLeaks exposing that cable, Marafa was jailed, despite having been rumored for years to be a presidential hopeful. The cable undoubtedly angered people hoping to succeed Cameroon's current aging president, as they likely perceived it as American support for Marafa becoming Cameroon's next president. All U.S. support for Marafa since his arrest, no matter its source, has been angrily and quite publicly rebuffed, by official and de facto Cameroon government spokespeople. Of late, Cameroon journalists have even specifically condemned the U.S. Friends of Marafa Committee 
and the U.S. Space Marafa Watch, as well as our U.S. State Department, in headline articles. Such rage should be intolerable for Americans, who, despite their own economic hardships, pump millions of dollars into Cameroon, only to have much of it stolen by corrupt people densely scattered throughout Cameroon's government and business elite. To add insult to injury, reliable reports indicate that the Obama administration has invited or may invite Cameroon's President Bia to be our country's guest at the U.S. Africa Forum to be held this August in Washington, D.C. While the invitation may be a diplomatic show of good faith, evidence abounds that Bia is an often ruthless dictator masquerading as a democratic leader. Are American taxpayers to pay for Bia to rub shoulders with other heads of state while Marafa rubs shoulders in Cameroon's notoriously overcrowded inhumane prisons? There are many grounds for comparing Marafa to the late great Nelson Mandela, but the respective length of time they languished in prison should not compare. If this were any other country that was larger or more military power, the United States would not take this. But for some reason in this situation, we're giving aid to a country who is holding a political prisoner unjustly, and we continue to let it go. As a citizen of this country, this is totally wrong. We wouldn't be pr pushed around by President Putin, but yet we give money to Cameroon, and yet they tell us to mind our own business, despite the fact that they're holding political prisoners. the whistleblower against Pina Corp of America, and I'm currently the Green Party candidate for Texas Agriculture Commissioner. What I'd like to speak to you about today is what we call Marafa Watch. Marafa is a political prisoner in Cameroon. situation. This is totally not fair and we shouldn't be giving aid to countries who do this. As someone running for agriculture commissioner, I will go so far as to say I'm not comfortable doing trade with a country who reacts like this. And in the agricultural trade, even though I would hate to limit any countries we trade with, are we going to continue our trade and financial aid to a country who carries out such acts as the uh, unjust imprisonment of Marafa in Cameroon. So please get involved. I, as a candidate for the Texas Agriculture Commissioner and as a whistleblower, fully support this cause, and I hope others will join me in doing so. Hi, I'm Mark Lipton, former Deputy Sheriff. The thing that I share with Marafa is corruption and a dirty conviction for something I didn't do. The feeling you get when you're convicted of something, such as these atrocities, 
is a knot in your stomach that doesn't go away after a good meal. After being a cop for many years, it has given me a new set of eyes that have shown me firsthand how broken this system really is. It also hurts to see people behind these crimes against another person get away with what they have done. It seems the system has much in place for conviction and minor amounts of substance to help uncover such injustices. But then, after many, many cries for help, in comes Zena and her team, and you begin to see light at the end of a long, dark tunnel that empowers me to carry on and fight one more day. So I am sure these feelings are the same as Marafa has each day. Each day, for me, is also filled with prayers, and it's my wish that soon freedom will belong to he and I once again. I know too my Lord will deal with these people someday, and they will answer to everything they have done that's caused harm to another human being. Again, I'd like to express my feelings that it's wrong to do these type of things to people, and I hope that uh, our cries for uh, this very distinguished man's uh, freedom uh, gets answered soon. Thank you. Y'all don't really want him to get free, y'all sounding like that, y'all can That's... If you know the fight, keep national, no man go tell you I see ya. Which can I come by this? Même say you have an opportunity. If you know the fight, pay organizer, then go barre you side by side. Which can I come by this? Polo correct the kerao. If you know the fight, plan the buffer. You go chica dans so sans avancement. Which can I come by this? You like you chica me like a gumbi. If you know the for club, the water, you own suffer no good damage.